You are not stuck. You are just growing in soils that do not resonate with your deepest yearning. 85% of coaching clients that come to me come because they believe that they are stuck, that they are in a situation in their lives, in a life experience that is not allowing them to grow. And so they feel stagnant, like nothing is happening. And I always, as a first port of call, remind them that there's no such thing as stuckness. We are always growing. The question is, are we growing in the soils that support who we are? My name is Rachel Adams and I'm a leadership practitioner and coach. And today I wanted to discuss the comfort zone. This is often the space that many of us find ourselves when we have stopped challenging ourselves to learn and grow into new terrains that expand us into the fullness of who we can be. And when that happens, people then start to say things like, I feel like I'm stuck and nothing is happening in my life. And here's what I want you to understand about the comfort zone. Two things. Firstly, the word comfort the Latin com, every time you see the Latin com, it means with or together, right? Fortis, the Latin fortis means strength or to strengthen. So when we talk about the comfort zone, you're saying, we are saying that you are with strength or together with strength. So two things come out of this. The one is comfort zones can be fantastic because it means we have come into a deeper practice, into a deeper mastery of what we know and understand. And so that allows us to feel comfortable, right? To feel comfortable with our trade, with our skill, with the, the growth space that we are in, with our families, with our jobs, with the experiences that we are having. And so comfort zones are not a negative thing, right? Comfort zones can be a space of deep support and feeling grounded in who you are and what you're doing. However, the second thing is that comfort zones also mean that you're being strengthened in behaviors and practices that don't necessarily serve you. So if you've stopped doing things that continually expand you, if you've stopped interrogating the spaces that you're in and asking, is this a comfort zone that is not growing me in the way that I desire to grow? It means that you're growing in ways that you don't desire to grow. So let me give an example. If you are in a relationship that has reached its sell by date and you know it has, but you continue to be in it and then you come to me and you say, I'm stuck in this relationship, I've stopped growing in this relationship. No, you haven't. What may be growing is resentment. What may be growing is a sense of dissatisfaction. What may be growing is a sense of purposelessness. What may be growing is a sense of disconnect. Something is growing. The soils are nurturing. And the question is, is this the way you want to grow? And this is the question we should ask when we find ourselves in comfort zones. Is this the way in which I want to grow? Is this the way in which I want to be supporting my gift and my talent and the, and the whole possibility of who I could be in life by staying in this zone of safety? Now, like I said, there's moments in which safety is, is beautiful. It's okay. There are moments in which we just want to pause and say, you know, I've worked so hard and I just want to have time out. It's a conscious comfort zone. Fantastic. If you're now in a comfort zone that has become a space of comatose, where you are just wallowing in a space because you feel like you're stuck, then it's time to move. It's time to move. It's time to challenge yourself and say, what needs to be done? What needs to be interrogated? What am I being invited into new relationship with? So that I can start to grow in the soil that supports my deepest yearning. I wish you courage on this journey. Growing into the learning zone, growing into a space in which you are challenging yourself anew isn't always easy. It will come with questions that you haven't yet confronted. It will bring answers that you may feel that you're not yet ready 
to respond to. But the truth of the matter is, whenever there's a yearning, whenever you find yourself disrupted in your usual pattern of thinking, chances are you're ready. Chances are something has awakened you to a new understanding. If you start the journey, the tools will come. You are not stuck. You are just growing in soils that do not support your deepest yearning.